Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. In this video, we're going to react to Judge Judy's best moments. Now, Judge Judy ran for a long time. God, I think it had over 20 seasons or something like that. You know, Judge Judy, she was known as like a complete, like not to be taken lightly. She was fearsome. She did. She took no BS, very like direct, like it's funny when people used to try and appeal to her like sensitive side she would just shut them down quickly like it was just hilarious how she how quickly she would dismiss some cases she would just be like nope you're gonna pay 500 dollars to the victim case closed bang drops the hammer just absolutely brilliant so this video is going to be quite fun just to relive some of the uh the old moments and i'm glad i'm done you're gone goodbye <sighs> You take Whoa. your case back to the small claims court where it came from. Do you understand? Seriously? No, not seriously. Super seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Dillon. Miss, how is that excuse? You may step out. Excuse me, Miss, Miss Judy? Excuse me, Judge? What? Can I speak to you for a second? No. No? <laughs> what had you done to... <laughs> Can I speak to you? No. Help her out. What have I done? Um, what had you done up until then to help her out? Previously, I've been on her teams that she has coached. Um, I've helped That's her. That's not a favor. By being on her teams and helping her teams do better is a favor. Miss Mullins, that's ridiculous. Ridiculous, <laughs> as my six-year-old would say. Ridiculous. Um, I have a question. Okay, if I have her face, oh my God, she did not look happy. Question. <laughs> okay, if I have the bank receipts where I purchased the car, if the car is... You have one child? Yes, ma'am. It's enough. Your counterclaim's dismissed. Don't drive a car without a license. Don't put somebody else's life in jeopardy because you are being selfish. Do we understand each other? Yes, ma'am. Goodbye. Excuse me, step out, wait here. God How much damn. was done to your car? I have an estimate that shows $6,500. Good, you pay for it. You wanted to talk to her that badly, it's gonna cost you $6,500. You behaved like a what? An idiot. Yes. But I, I feel that I I don't done care what you wrong. feel. What you feel is totally, completely irrelevant to me. I will adjudicate this case based solely on the facts and not the fact that I think that you're a lowlife. You understand that? Whoa! <laughs> Did you ever have... Put your hand down! It's hurry. Oh. Listen to me, madam. Do you know... Jesus! How expensive it is to raise a child? Yes. He has six children! He brings their diapers six. each time. What? But what happened? We never dated. I don't care whether you dated or not. Okay. Who cares? Now you think it's her turn to pay for this undrivable motorcycle. Is that right? Yes, ma'am. You're an idiot. <laughs> you know you're an idiot. <laughs> How much is still owed on this motorcycle, Miss Hopkins? Owed on it is $17,968.95. No, he's not the idiot. You are. You are. Dang, man. What motorcycle? That's a lot. That's your daughter? Yes. Oh, you know she's an idiot. I know. <laughs> <sighs> the the mum was like, yep. She's an idiot. Maximum of this court's jurisdiction is $5,000. Judging for the plaintiff in the amount of $5,000. That's all. Step out. Why is our excuse? Oh, by the excuse me. Where's the title to the motorcycle? All I have is a temporary. Get that to me. Jeez, man. Oh, my God. She is fearsome. It's her motorcycle. Do you understand that, sir? Yes, sir. Hers. I mean, yes, ma'am. Hers. Yes, ma'am. She's coming to pick it up. Where's the title to it? There is no title because it's not paid off yet. Fine. I will prepare an order that the Department of Motor Vehicles is to register this motorcycle in her name. You will sign it. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Do you understand? That yes, means maybe she can recoup another couple of dollars that is owed on this thing. Do you get it? Yes, ma'am. Perfect. Are you excuse me? Step out. It's a single family <laughs> Man, she might as well take a flamethrower to some of these people. She absolutely just blasts them. Like the way she barks out the instructions, it's like gives me memories of school. Like my old head teacher, Miss Simmons, she she took no prisoners, man. Listen to me! 
You don't like the steak? Move! Now I want to see what you filed. Put your hand down and take she, your hand off his see, thigh. See, she moved out. She would not fit. Go like this. <laughs> take your hand off his thigh. <laughs> She didn't like, like your hands getting too close to his man parts. You better move that. Keep it PG. Like this. Go like this. Go like this. Yeah. Get a job and move. Because I'm reading this and this is a crock of baloney. Just it's a okay second. for her to touch. Just a second. I need it. Get a life. Get a job. It's taking a long time to see. I have nothing but time. I do too. I'm having a good time down here. Thanks. That's a shame. Well, not for me. Gets me out of town. Your Honor, I have these on my phone, but I would have to go all the way through from... I have time. She just said she had plenty of time. Sir. I'll do that, okay? Just sir. There. She just has to click on it. This guy's getting an attitude. He's getting too sassy. Getting too familiar. I don't want to even touch it. I'm afraid I'll touch it and look over. Why wouldn't she get a contract written out? I mean, that's what I would do. Am I addressing you? <laughs> Your Honor, God. may I introduce to you my witness? No, I want you okay. to do exactly what I want. Now I'm going to hear your counterclaim. I paid to get her Let's windows tinted. Let's do it tinted. and talk fast. I'm sorry? Let's do it and talk fast. That's all well, it wouldn't cut me off, I'd be able to talk fast. What did he just say? If you didn't cut him off, maybe he'd talk fast. Okay, judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of five thousand dollars. Your counterclaim is dismissed. Wow! Parties are oh, snap! There's a saying that's you know that's flying around the internet these days. F around and find out. He found out. Good move. You knew each other before this car trade. Yes, Your Honor. How long? No, we didn't, Your Honor. I had just met her. Yeah, we just at met the her. car trade. Uh, maybe like well, a week before. I don't want to hear both of you. Who's going to speak for your end? Pick a person. Maybe about a week before that. Did you make up your mind that he's speaking for yeah. you? This is going to be one of those cases, Officer Bird, where you're going to find that these two people or three people deserve each other. Uh. <laughs> How much money? Just give me a figure. How uh, much money? Was owed still? Was owed still on the Chrysler. Uh, Eight thousand or nine. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm not looking at you. Okay. You have to understand, you're not going to win any money in this case. Zippity doo dah. Because you traded a car on which you owed $12,000, and I don't believe that you told them that. This is going to end up with zero. I just wish Social Security is going to have a new administrator. Pay careful attention. When somebody is incarcerated, their disability payment should stop. When somebody is incarcerated, welfare payments should stop. When somebody is incarcerated... Should. Som do they not sometimes? Wow, so you can be in prison and still getting social security payments. Pfft, wow, is that, is that true? I thought that would, like, automatically cease, right? Foster care payments should stop. We don't have to pay twice or three times. Once is bad enough. We understand each other. Congress. <laughs> Duty continues in a moment. Well, then that's why you don't manufacture and deliver drugs and walk around with a gun because you don't want to eat. You don't want to eat that food. That's life. No, it's not my life. Not her life. It's not Stuff Bird's happens. life. <laughs> Out. Did you hear what I said? You know who I'm looking at. You got my eyes? Blue. Black. Out. Out. What did he say? What did he do? Yeah. Here would be you. Out. Just go. Say nothing. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Mr. Cuffey, are you trying to make me dislike you? You're doing a really good job. A lot of people don't like me. Mr. Cuffey, do you... Oh, my God. Just don't give, her, don't give her any sass. Just say nothing apart from yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. Answer the question. Smile. Just keep it simple. Think that that's a good thing? I'm cool with it. Well, I want to tell you something, my friend. Who do you think is happier with their life? Who, Who do you think goes to a nicer place at the end of the day? Who do you think drives a nicer car, takes nicer vacations, has nicer clothes? You or Bird? Look, just this is a question I'm asking you. I wouldn't say you were me because that would be nasty. And I, I'm never known to be nasty. 
You or bird? One life is a successful life. Wife, children, a home, philanthropy, charity, a good neighbor, all of those good things. The other one is a loser life. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. It was... Ouch. A loser life. My God. Judge Judy, she is brutal sometimes. Flipping out. So, it's not life. It's what you choose to make of it, sir. Look at me. We're going to be friends now. I don't need no new I... friends. You don't need any more enemies either. Goodbye. If it was important to you, you it would remember It is important to me. Goodbye. I have to go to school. I paid. Goodbye. Are you serious? Real serious. But if you have a text message where I he never... not Hey, I'm talking to you. Stop the crying. You're not getting to me. Judge Judy continues in a moment. Now, there's only one person I feel sorry for. And that's the baby that you made with him. That's the only person my I feel... My baby hey, well taken care of. Uh, Please don't me. talk about hey. my baby. That's the only person I feel sorry for. But if you have a text message from him acknowledging that he owes you money for your <coughs> laptop, I'm not going to hear you crying anymore. I'm just going to throw you out. Would you please point out where he says anything about owing you money for a computer? You say you owe me and you owe my mother money. He does. He broke everything. Uh, there's a, there's police. A, outside person. Why does I excuse you, Miss Stefan? You got two minutes of my time. In, in regarding me, I had no, no, nothing not to do I, with it There's because... no such word. I... <laughs> She's even grammar police. And don't, don't tell me there is such a word. <laughs> oh, my God. My goodness. Judge Judy. Oh, my, that, that was hilarious yet brutal. Just a lesson, really, in just... Just someone who just takes no prisoners whatsoever. No prisoners. The people that were getting sassy with her, it's like, mate, you're trying to get a favorable outcome from this court case. Do you genuinely think it's smart? The person who is basically the, you know, judge, jury, executioner, to give them sass? Like, it, some people really just have no common sense. Like, when answering back, being sarcastic, you know, it's just, why would you do that? Why would you do that? Absolutely hilarious. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.